everybody, this is Conundrum back again with another reaction video, and this is to Lost in Space, Season 1, Episode 4, The Robinsons Were Here, which seems to be a pretty good episode, but before I continue, please like, comment, and share, like, comment, and share, and also hit that subscribe button to my page so you hear when I come out with new videos, and of course, you'll be the first one to know when you hit that bell. So, on with the episode. So in episode 4, we saw a lot of different things going on. We saw things going on with the parents. We saw things going on with the children. We also saw things going on with extra people who were found actually on an actual planet, which is pretty good. So let's start out with the parents. Of course, the parents are one in search of, you know, help. And they wanted to track, out, track other things that are going on around the planet. So of course, the parents go off. They go off and they go out to another ship where they meet some other survivors and they learn about some things that they meet, need to get for years. Why. So, of course, through this episode, we see the parents kind of going back and forth, figuring out exactly what they need to do to help their relationship because their relationship seems to be kind of falling apart. At first, it seemed like the parents may be on the verge of getting divorced, but it showed that their father, who actually got a letter, was saying that he actually was deployed on purpose because he chose to go away and be with be out without his family, which of course the mother did not enjoy. So we also saw another person who we forgot about, Don West. Don West of course came in originally in the episode. You saw his ship go down with uh, Dr. S Dr. Smith. And of course we know that Dr. Smith is not actually Dr. Smith. Her name was June Harris, but of course she's going by that name. But anyway, we saw that she had basically ditched him and he basically was on the planet alone well, along with Angela and we didn't know what happened to him. So of course we see now back with them, they are together, they have found a way to another ship which actually helped them out and they had given them supplies and helped them figure out what they're going to do next. So of course because of the fact that they are basically, you know, going through the episode, um, we didn't really see a lot of Angela. Angela, Angela was hurt. So basically, she was in the infirmary, and Judy was out there there helping her, and she actually explained to Judy what was going on with the robot. But back to Don West. Don West, of course, we find out is a little bit of a liar. So we find out he's actually a merchant, or what we like to call a hooch runner. Basically, running hooch and other things from one place to another. So he's smuggling things back and forth, which, of course, is something he's not supposed to be doing. But because of the fact that he can't do what he wants to do, he does it anyway. So on to the children. Of course, we see Judy. Judy, of course, goes out with the parents to help basically take care of uh, anything that they need while they're out. And, of course, they run into basically run, in, run into the other ship. And, of course, on the other ship, that's when she takes care of Angela. And, of course, she learns about what really happened with the robot, how the robot got there, and how she got the injuries that she sustained while she was after the actual ship went down. So, of course, we know what happened with that. And, of course, we learn more about her having to deal with her brother, who has the robot who's obviously under his control, and basically doing whatever he's being told. So, of course, the robot is going through the episode, basically, you know, doing any necessity that it needs to have done. Will is having him move boulders and plant spikes into the ground, things of that nature. And, of course, Judy is not happy when she finds out about what's going on with the robot. So Judy, of course, wants Will to get rid of the robot, which eventually does happen in the episode. And we kind of see that she decides to help him basically find a cave for the robot to which they decide to keep the robot. And of course, moving on to Penny. Penny, of course, being the, the adolescent child who just kind of is a little bit in chaos, decides that she is actually going to help out um, Will and his sister Judy actually hide the robot. So that kind of gets to be in a little bit of an adventure because of the fact that they end up running into another group of people who eventually learn, one of them learns, named VJ, learns about the robot and knows about what the robot did. So he doesn't really appreciate the robot being there. Now, being Judy being the smart one, I'm sorry, not Judy, Penny being the smart one, she decides that she's going to manipulate VJ and basically make it so he can't tell anybody about the robot. Basically, he ends up being blackmailed by her because she keeps a letter of his, and he decides to go off on his own, not well, actually on his own, but with the rest of his group, and they go off, and we really don't hear from them too much anymore. So, on to the interesting part about a Penny. Penny, of course, helps them out and they end up finding a cave for the robot. And, of course, you know, this is what Will's at. Will's actually with, with them. Will, Penny, and Judy are all together in this cave. And basically, they end up in this cave and they decide they want to leave a cave painting of how they got there and what they're doing there. And, of course, the robot, being as curious as it is, decides he wants to leave a handprint along with the rest of the family because of the fact that it feels that he wants to be a part of something, which is an interesting thing to see. Now, 
I'm not, unbeknownst to them, of course, is Dr. Smith. Dr. Smith, of course, is making her plans for her next move, as we see. And we don't know exactly what she's deciding that she might want to do. So, of course, she follows Judy, Will, and Penny to the cave and basically gets there and starts manipulating the robot a little bit. And she also found the gun that Will had hid at first because of the fact that he got it from the robot whose father originally created. And of course now he's using that to her advantage, basically keeping on her for protection. And of course we have, throughout the adventure we also see them actually run into some type of monster who's actually there, who's actually chasing them, but the robot actually scares away. And the robot actually learns about, you know, how to clap and actually make roses or just say flowers bloom and making everybody feel happy for a moment, which is pretty interesting to see. So all in all, it was a great episode. We also saw the light show they had going on as well. We saw the fact that basically they took and at night they were locked away and uh, basically in one of them cave. Some of them were underneath the radar that fell on top of them, which be Maureen and John. The radar fell on them, so of course they couldn't get out. And they basically see that the purple light showed up. It was a beautiful thing to see. So we saw a lot of great things going on in the episode. So we have a lot of mysteries going on. And of course, we saw a lot of things that were not quite answered. And of course, we all have questions. Quite the question I have is, will they ever figure out that Dr. Smith is not Dr. Smith? Will the family ever figure out what's going on with the robot? Will they decide that they'll keep the robot or get rid of the robot? What's going to happen with Don West? Is he going to actually spill the beans as well about Dr. Smith? Or is he going to keep that to himself? Or does he even know yet about her and what she's up to? So, of course, we see a lot of different things going on. So, of course, that's going to be come up probably in the next episode. So, I just wanted to give my little preview about what I thought. It was a great episode. I enjoyed every minute of it. And before I go, of course, like, comment, and share. And definitely subscribe to my page. Like, comment, share, subscribe. And definitely hit that bell button so you get notified when I come out with new episodes. So you guys have a great rest of the day. Peace.